So this is the new incline bib to complement the incline jacket. Uh, we went to a tall full length bib. The carbon's a little leaner, a little shorter. We call it like a tall pant. This one we went to a full regular size bib. Basically the competition in this market kind of demands that. That's the expectation. So, but we did do things we tried to improve. Uh, one of the things I've always hated with bibs is having um, your plastic buckles and turns on there that, that rub and get caught, especially when running backpacks. So we found this super flat plastic piece. We did all Velcro adjustments, so there's no, there's no pivots, there's no hinges there with your plastic buckles. Um, so that makes that very nice. We did leave belt loops on it. I'm a belt fan. I like wearing belts so that I can run my suspenders very loose and have the bib or pant hang more on my waist than on my shoulders. So it has belt loops on it. Waterproof jackets, or waterproof zippers, a uh, little pocket on the chest, hand pockets, uh, thigh vents, again with the, the tool cool vent material behind it. Um, one thing we do with all of our, everything in our snow line is full length zippers. Uh, as a snowmobiler, I've always hated mid length or mid leg zipper cutoffs. We dress in boots, you wear boots. Um, this piece, like I said, is just a continuation of everything we've learned. Uh, the push through snaps that never pack full of snow. They work all day. Nine times out of ten, they're going to pop and they're going to come off throughout the day. But if they're the old style snap, they will pack full of snow and they don't work. Two different sizes there. How you want to set it up? Um, again, full leg zippers. Snow snow cuff. We do all of our lace loops in elastic and a snap so they won't tear out. Um, that way, if it does get stretched out, it doesn't rip the bib. It will pop. It will stretch. Give it room to flex. Flexibility on the gator, three snaps on the gator. The gator is actually a floating gear, gator. We do a membrane in there to give it a little bit of give so it does work around the boot. Um, we do run a pocket for knee pads in the bib. It's got three different Velcro adjustments so you can change the placement of the knee pad on your knee. It also is a pocket. If you don't like it, take it out, throw it away. And we did it as a flap so you don't stick your foot in there every time you slide your foot in your in your pants a lot of them are just a pocket style and always hangs up on your boot or your foot so just little features that, that make it a super comfortable usable piece overall weight is one of the things we've really enjoyed building with this the jacket the bib significantly lighter than a lot and very very pliable very soft very flush quiet um, and a great piece Simitex has kind of the same regulations that a lot of the other brands have, the name brand membranes. They make us send them product that they can test for waterproofing, and they won't let us use the Simpex name, Simpex name, without getting it through their approval process. So kind of elevates our brand, brings us to the next level as far as high-end snow, mountain, shell, uh, that kind of a, an aspect or that kind of a product that, that people are looking for. We're hoping that this thing becomes more popular in the Midwest and the East Coast as those guys learn how to layer underneath, that they don't have to wear these heavy jackets. <clears throat> they can wear a thin shell and then layer underneath it to stay warm. And we're seeing more and more people, you know, for the last 20 years that do live in the Midwest and ride there once in a while, but do take a lot of treks to the mountains. And a piece like this is very versatile. You can run it in the Midwest layered and run in the mountains with very little layering and, and accomplish full things. Cost? 389 for the MSRP is 389 on the incline bib. Okay, so when you when when you designed that, did you design this line of snow clothing to go with any of your other gear, boots, helmets, whatever? So yeah, the, the cool thing with Fly this year is we brought a lot of cool new pieces to the market. Our Formula helmet is brand new this year, and we have a Fly Formula helmet snow. We built. Um, we have a new Boulder boot that we built to kind of go in this line. It's a Simbatex mountain boot as well. And then our Formula helmet. And then the other piece that we have coming out is our heated title glove. So as far as a really, really cool mountain kit, a boulder boot, our heated title, the incline outerwear and the Formula helmet all kind of fit together. It's all the same level of, of high end, high quality pieces and Really how how long has this line been in the works? The incline piece has been in the works for four years. Uh, our carbon piece was the original planning and it turned into we, we made the carbon that was going to be this piece and then rolled it out into the carbon as a lower price point with a uh, R brand waterproof membrane in it before we went to the name brand waterproof membrane. 
So the Carlin basically was a predecessor to this. We learned a lot there, had a lot of features into that. And then when this came about and we finally decided to go to that Sympatex membrane, we basically just modified our carbon gear, added the Symbatex name, added some more features to, to create the value of this piece. And so it was just a, a natural evolution from, from how it progressed.